Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand bubble sort working mechanism, the concept of selection sort and the algorithm of selection, selection sort has already been explained in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we will try to understand bubble sort working mechanism so this is another kind of sorting algorithm and uh, we will try to understand before understanding the algorithm we will try to understand how the bubble sort works so that is very important to understand so the name itself states that bubble sort bubble sort means the elements are going to move from bottom to so for example if you take a bubble in a water so it moves from bottom to top so in the same way the uh, largest element is going to move from bottom to top means end of the array in the sense here in this array for example if you take this array the largest element will move from its position to the end of the array because it is its original uh, it is its sorted position okay so in the same way as the bubble moves from bottom to top of the water uh, the the elements will move from one place to the end of the uh, array that is the reason why it is called as bubble sort so we'll try to we will get that feeling of bubble sort while uh, while uh, understanding this by using this uh, example so here we are having an element of uh, an array of eight elements and uh, in this this loop so the loops in the algorithm the outer for loop if you talk in the perspective of algorithm this this uh, 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 the outer loop is going to iterate for n number of times each time it we are going to iterate uh, each time so we are going to compare the two elements these two elements and if if it is uh, this is smaller than this one a of i is uh, less than a, a of i is greater than a of i plus one then there is a swapping what does that mean is we are going to compare two two elements each in the each iteration we are going to compare two two elements each time if a of i is greater than a of i plus one if a of i is greater than i plus one then the swapping happens so we will try to understand in detail so step by step we will try to understand first pass we are in the first iteration so i am speaking this algorithm with respect to the first iteration because for every pass there the, the changes is going to happen so we have to we have to understand how the changes are going to happen in every pass so that is the reason why every pass means every iteration okay so now in the first iteration let's try to uh, start our first iteration every time we are going to compare all the elements so uh, as we move from one iteration to another iteration we are going to leave the last element why we are going to leave the last element is uh, because because the elements are in the last from the last are in the sorted order okay we will see uh, uh, practically here we are going to compare is 4 greater than 8 no it is not next next these two are compared first these two are compared next these two are compared 8 greater than 3 is it true 8 greater than 3 is it true yes it is true so we are going to swap them so let's try to swap them okay 3 and 8 again 8 and 1 will get compared so is it true 8 greater than 1 is it true yes it is true so we are going to swap it again again so it is going to take little bit of time because we have to change every time and next 8 and 5 will get compared so is it true 8 greater than 5 yes it is true so again swapping is done again swapping is done 5 will come here okay 5 will come here and 8 will move here again this one will get compared okay 8 and 7 will get compared so 7 will move here and 8 will come here again 8 and 2 will get compared so this comparison is all written uh, 8 and 2 will get compared so is 8 greater than 2 yes it is true so these two will get swapped so if we swap these two 2 will come here 
2 will come here and this one is going to be 8 and again these two will get compared these two will get compared so uh, 8 and 6 will get swapped again okay so 6 will come here and 8 will be here so this is the first iteration in this first iteration see here the largest among these elements the largest among this element is 8 and it has been shifted to its position shifted to its position in the next iteration can you guess which element is going to take which position so in the next iteration 7 is going to take this position in the next iteration the 7 is going to take this position and these elements we cannot guess they may be in uh, unsorted order so this this part of the uh, array is going to be in the sorted order from the end it is going to be in the sorted order and the remaining part is going to be in the unsorted order so let's try to do the second iteration so we call it a second pass in the second pass what happens is again these two will get compared 4 greater than 3 is it true yes it is true 4 greater than uh, uh, 3 it is true so this one these two will get both will get swapped here so we lost one I think okay 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 now uh, swapping has to be done 3 will be swapped here 4 will be swapped here again 4 greater than 1 is it true yes it is true so in the second pass uh, sorry second uh, iteration so 1 will be swapped here and 4 will be swapped here 4 less than 5 is it true no it is not true well, sorry 4 greater than 5 is it true no it is not true 5 greater than 7 is it true no it is not 7 greater than 2 is it true yes it is true so what we are going to do 7 and 2 will get swapped see here uh, the largest element has been identified for this iteration the largest element is 7 it has been identified now the swappings will be done so this element will shift to its position 7 greater than 6 is it true yes it is true so again the swapping so it is a bit repetitive but uh, we need to do this 6 and 7 so it has taken its position see here these two elements are in the sorted order next 6 is already in its position uh, again we will do this iteration so that these elements will change according to the uh, uh, their arrangement so we have to pass 8 passes we have to do 8 iterations and we have already done 1 and 2 second iteration is done next we are in the third iteration see here why I am explaining this is why I am taking these iterations is very important because there is a uh, uh, there is a disadvantage with this bubble sort uh, these many iterations so we will try to understand that okay uh, and the next uh, pass in the third iteration in the third iteration again same job so 3 greater than 1 yes it is true so again swapping is done again swapping is done 1 and 3 3 greater than 4 no no not required 4 greater than 5 no not required 4 is less than 5 so uh, no, no swapping is needed 5 greater than 2 yes 5 is greater than 2 so again swapping is done 2 and 5 will get swapped 2 will come here 5 will be here 5 greater than 6 is it true no it is not true so it is going to be in the position so 6 is already in the in the position next again so third iteration is done and the next is fourth iteration we have to do eight iterations now again the comparisons are done so let's start 1 and 3 not required 3 and 4 not required 4 and 2 yes it is required 2 has to be shifted here okay 2 2 and 4 4 no it is not required it is in the position in the next iteration so it is our fifth iteration in the fifth iteration again the same job okay 1 and 3 not required 1 greater than 3 no it is not 3 greater than 2 yes it is so again the swapping is needed okay 2 and 3 okay so uh, again the swapping is needed next one is it required no it is not required is it required no it is not even though they are not required the iterations are done 
the point you have to understand is even though the, they are not required so we are, we are we have to compare so as we have done five iterations till here we have to compare because all these elements are in the sorted order these elements no need to do the comparisons the algorithm is written in such a way okay so uh, okay so now even though the elements are in the sorted order in the fifth iteration all the elements are in the sorted order okay the point that you have to understand is in the by as we have done with the fifth iteration the elements are already there in the sorted order but by but in the bubble sort in the original bubble sort what we have to do is we have to do the comparisons all all for all the iterations so eight iterations has to be done even though they are in the sorted order we have to do all the comparisons okay all the comparisons in the sense next iteration we have to do only these comparisons next iterations only these two so all the comparisons needs to be done even though the elements are in the sorted order this point is very important for you to understand so try to focus more on this point while while understanding about the algorithm you will clearly know what we have what we have discussed okay okay so now this has to be done and uh, this is uh, so we can avoid that so the original algorithm of bubble sort is going to do all the comparisons every time all the comparisons every time but there is an another kind of algorithm which is optimized bubble sort algorithm in that if there is no swap in the in an iteration for example in an iteration in the sixth iteration if there are no swaps means then the algorithm is going to stop the optimized how the optimized algorithm will work is this is very important point to understand so for example if you are doing the sixth iteration in the sixth iteration no swapping is done because the elements are in the sorted order if the swapping is not done there is no need for us to do the further iterations right because the elements are already in the sorted order in that case the algorithm will stop that is what we call it as optimized bubble sort okay we will try to understand both the algorithm separately we will first make the video on uh, bubble sort algorithm where all the iterations will be done all the iterations will be done and the, and after that we are going to understand the optimized bubble sort algorithm where uh, the bubble sort iterations are going to stop as and when the elements are arranged in the sorted order okay so this is all about this is how the bubble sort will work hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with our friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching